Hello, happy Tuesday. I'm Beanie Kelly. I'm the Associate Pastor of Shady Grove United Methodist Church in Short Pump. And today I will be talking to you about the Real Discipleship Survey. If you remember, Pastor Chris and I have been talking about this a lot. It's a tool that can help you reflect on where you are in your faith journey. It can be a great conversation starter and help you to see areas in which you can strengthen, strengthen your ties with God and strengthen your ties with others and your understanding of yourself and your faith journey. So it shows six areas of faith and then there are four stages in each area. So today we're talking about the life of hospitality. That's an area of faith, life of hospitality. And this second stage of it, we're calling beginning. So you might be, be beginning the life of hospitality if this sentence connects with you. I am called not only to receive, but also to offer God's gracious acceptance to others. Let me say that again. I am called not only to receive, but also to offer God's gracious acceptance to others. When I think about this particular stage, I immediately thought of Miss Ellen Brewer. Now, who was Miss Ellen Brewer? She was my fabulous kindergarten Sunday school teacher. Now, I had been going to church in Louisville, Kentucky, and I was not a happy camper. For some reason, I just did not like my experience at that church. So when we moved to Raleigh, North Carolina, my parents were very concerned about finding the right church for our family so that I would feel excited about going to church. They wouldn't have a battle every morning about going. So... We tried this particular church, and I was greeted by the most gracious, welcoming representative of Christ's love, Miss Ellen Brewer. I felt so important, so accepted, that when I came out, I said, well, I don't know what church you're going to be going to, but this is the one that I'm going to be going to. I loved that church. I felt the love of God there. Acts 15, 4 says, when they came to Jerusalem, and they're talking about Paul and Barnabas and some other believers, and it says, when they came to Jerusalem, they were welcomed by the church and the apostles and the elders, and they declared all that God had done with them. They were welcomed and they were able to share what God was doing in their lives. And that's what church should be, a place where, where we can share with each other. That love and acceptance that comes from God. And we can talk about what God is doing in our lives. Have you ever felt so welcomed at church? any church in your life where you just felt like you wanted to be there, that you felt important and you felt God's gracious love there. And in turn, can you or have you been able to show that love and acceptance to others so that they want to be there too? I wonder if in the past month or so, you have invited your friends or neighbors to our drive-in worship or the outdoor worship. We want to offer such a welcoming place, and you can be part of that. You can be part of sharing that genuine affirmation that stresses that God is so accepting and God is so loving. Let us pray. 
Lord, we thank you when we feel welcomed into your body of Christ. We thank you for the opportunity to bring others into community so that they are assured of your love. Amen. Thanks for joining me.